Hello, we're in Malta. We're doing uh, a couple of oil paintings. These these are going to be sold on our website as one lot because it makes more sense for us as a transaction to sell them together. Um, and they're, the, they're framed by the same person. On the back you'll see there is a connection. Um, small pictures don't look good on their own. So you, if, you, if you hang them on, in your house, you, you don't really want to have one on their own. You, you want a group. In fact, I would, I would buy more than two. I'd buy six or eight or seven, maybe odd numbers. So two for sale, one lot. We will split them if you only want one, of course we will. But that's the what we're going to try and do, sell them together. They're not by the same artist. They're not the same type of picture. They're not the same type of frame, but they have got the same framers label. Now, there's a lot going on here. And I'll try and get, the, get it across without going on too long. Both have a name, a, a named framer. It says Charles H. West. Hampstead telephone number 465. The telephone number would date from around 1890, in my view. There were, there were telephones uh, in, in, in that time in England and in London, particularly. Well, they, they were well established by then. They both have a paper on. I don't think that necessarily in 1890 these were new frames. My feeling is perhaps this one was. This one looks earlier to me. What's happened, I think, is someone has had two, has, has come into the possession of two oils on board, and they 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 have either gone to the restorer, so the frame maker to have frames made or reused secondhand frames acquired. Um, so in 1890, these were prepared for use in a house, and the question is, where did the pictures come from? Where did the frames come from? I'll try and get across what we're dealing with. Now, the first thing you must be aware of with walls on board is wood. Don't, don't buy plywood. You have to check they're not plywood. If you look at the sides, you, you, you will be able to detect plywood, though they do try and hide the sides by smothering them with glue and colour. These are not plywood, they are pieces of wood. I think that is a mahogany, judging by the black flecks. I think that is an oak, judging by the open grain nature. This one here has been cut down because one side is straight, one side is chamfered. Uh, they might both have been cut down to fit the frames. I don't know. I, I really can't tell. Both boards have a slight curvature. You do get that. You do get that on non-plywood boards. So the boards are lovely. They're not associated. Um, the subjects not associated. So we'll now go to the fronts and have a look at what we've got on the other side. Frames are not the same size, not the same depth. This one here, it says Ward on it, and I think that it, it could be Ward, but I, I can't say it's a Ward. Um, I, I, all I can say it is an old painting with a frame bearing the word, the name Ward. I have to assume it's not Ward. For, for, for purposes of making a sale, I cannot make the attribution to Ward. The, 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 the horse has a tied tail, which is not usually a depiction you find in England. You will find it. And I, half of me thinks this, this has got a sort of grand tour feel. You've got the, the cliff, you've got the tree, you've got the stony ground. I don't think in reality it probably is a grand tour, Italian type picture. I think it's going to be a mid-Victorian picture, early to mid. The frame to me looks like an 1840s or 50s, at a push, a Regency, William IV type frame. Um, and I think that um, that frame belongs to that picture. I don't see why not. There's no reason why not. So it's English. That name plaque possibly was applied later. In fact, it will come away if you put, pull it all away. This is a real gold leaf um, with a varnish. So someone's had gold leaf, they varnished it at another stage. The varnish has reacted and gone a horrible color. <clears throat> it, does, it does do that. It's probably a shellac. So you have a nice deep frame, quite an early thing. Very, very well painted. It's quite hard to see with these little pictures, but it's beautifully painted. I'll hold that. Obviously on the website, there'll be better pictures. Now, what I like about this frame is, it's not just a cut frame. So this is just a cut frame mitered together. This has got these decorate, decorated corners, spandrels, I suppose you could call them. So it's not a question of cutting down another frame. This was made, these corners was made in this size. You can't cut these down. And resize them. This one here 
you could cut it down and no one would ever know but in any case i think this is a later frame i think this is a probably an 1890s frame so i think that this possibly was new and it was was framed now the board has some age um i'm tempted to say this is a similar age to that one i i think it could be early 19th century i, I think that the picture is a dutch looking dutch looking picture continental looking picture it has a bulbous bottle it's not an english shaped bottle you have the hood which isn't an english shaped hood really could not necessarily an english chair or an english basket you see a lot of dutch pictures with a sort of solitary woman sitting on a stool i mean i think it's um not a very appealing picture personally i don't like it i think it is boring as hell i think she was ugly as sin i think it's dark there's no window there's nothing going on it's mournful i hate it i hate this picture but it is a good example of a painting it's done to a standard good hands good shines wonderful if that was clean i think it would look a lot better but i don't want it in my house but i will also of course i will sell it the the, the frame is, is a late frame you have this vine leaf thing i don't think it's going to be water gilded because it's hard to burnish this type of thing it could it could be um could be gold leaf here with the gold paint on there i don't know but it's got a patina it's an interesting picture it's a good quality picture it's got a bit of it's got a bit of dirt on oh flake got a bit of flaking there's a few bubbles in the paint only touching up in fact the whole thing needs a you can either just clean that or you could strip away the, the varnish to, to really bring it through there's a lot of browns on it you can see it's like a shellac so that's for someone who, who is partial to that type of painting i think it's a dutch picture in an english frame framed later or reframed later so i think that explains it this one i like very much more the frame is an earlier form of frame the picture the painting is i would say superior in quality you've got leaves you've got this pleasing italian-esque italian tour-esque style um, ground the cliff it's quite an interesting scene i don't know about the ward aspect it could be ward it could be not, not be ward it's a shame it's got this stain into it i, I think i would leave it though well, lovely thing as i say this lovely frame a bit of damage onto the on the, on the gesso mounts this would be pine with gesso with a red bowl probably and then the gold the gold leaf lovely thing even you know even the, the harness is really well painted interesting thing with the steps and the vegetation as i say so we're selling them as one lot um i think this one here is the more valuable of the two on aesthetic grounds and on grounds of uh, the the frame as well it's a really nice nice frame so i hope i've got across the flavor look at the the website for for better images thanks for having a look